So good morning, everybody. This is Carlos. Hello, once again, this is Carlos. I'm riding to uh, Cedar Hill Crossroad to park my bike and start my Wednesday adventure for you. I'm planning to cycle, which I'm doing now. Safe across Cedar Hill Crossroad. I'm going to park outside fairways, lock the bike up, and then walk up to the Cedar Hill golf course and run on the chip trail, and then retrace my steps. Just looking looking for a bike rack. I also noticed I just got an email so I know I have Wi-Fi here at this, at this shopping center. Oh, I see a bike rack. All right, I'll catch up with you later. So it's Wednesday, as I said earlier. This looks like another of the Wednesday recycle neighborhoods. I just turned onto Rowan Road. Rowan Road will take me away from Shelbourne, which is the main drag in this area. The road that will take you into town. I'm now heading uphill towards Doncaster Drive and eventually Glacier Place. Glacier Place is where I join the chip trail. I'm going to spare you the uh, ice smooth run. I mean the run keeper lady today. I uh, have already measured out my exact itinerary for today. It's going to be two point three kilometers of walking, about the same of running, and uh, about six kilometers of cycling. It's 
So the green bins and the gray bins are out today for compostable waste and city garbage, which unfortunately will end up in the landfill. This part of the route I'm taking now is pedestrians only joining two parts of Rowan Road. Up ahead there's a Chinese convenience store and uh, beside it there's a laneway that will take me up to Doncaster Drive. I decided against cycling on too many hills because Harley doesn't have any gears it's quite strenuous to go up hills for me at the moment because both my legs are quite weak and especially my left leg. For all those people like Suzanne who like to hear my cadence, you should be delighted later on because I'm planning to run two and a bit kilometers without break. Probably with very little commentary from me. I'm going to be concentrating on my cadence and on my gentle progress to full health. So until I start running, I will pause the recording it's pretty soon anyway. I know that if I run what I'm planning to run, it's only going to be 20 minutes. So I'm looking for another 16 minutes of audio, which is partly now and partly when I finish. We'll see how long it takes me to do the run. I'm using my Timex Ironman to uh, keep track of my... Uh, different legs of this triathlon that I'm doing. Cycle, run, no, cycle, walk, run, walk, cycle. That's what I'm doing today. Each stage I'm just stopping my chrono and starting the next activity. By the end of it I'll know from my splits how long it took me to cycle two fairways, how long it took me to walk to the chip trail, how much time I spent running on the chip trail, and then if I remem remember, I will have the same data or similar data coming back. I do have some iced tea with me, and I'm going to leave it at the corner of Glacier where it meets the chip trail, so I will pass it once, at least twice anyway. Not three times, actually. If I take a drink before I leave, I go out and back, take another drink, go out and back, take another drink, and then walk home, walk back to my bike. So just getting to the laneway beside the, beside the Chinese uh, convenience store. Lost now on the country 
Okay, so I've reached the aforementioned corner of Glacier Place and I'm going to put down my iced tea just about here. Here, in the shade. And I'm going to stop my chrono for the walk. Hi there. I won't talk too much today until I get my breath. coming up on Derby, Derby Road. Derby is the access road for the clubhouse. Hello. That's it. Thank you. So that little girl had a dog on a leash. It's just a little bit faster than me. Hi. All these people I half know are giving me very nice smiles today.
So I've got a bit of downhill now, which very shortly I will have to renegotiate as an uphill. I tried to find that flattest part of the golf course trail. And this is it. This section has gravel, as you can hear, but only for about 200 meters each way. And then I'm back on the lovely, soft ship. My friend Graham phoned me yesterday to ask me how my rehab was going. Okay, this is where I turn. This is, I think it's called Ocean View or something like that. All right, now the test running uphill. In the old days, I used to walk this section. Today, I am running it. There's two factors playing here. One is my uh, lack of cardio fitness. But two is also the fact that normally when I get to this stage, I've been running for at least an hour and I'm looking forward to that little break. You can hear me breathing pretty heavy now. I still felt very little pain from my ankle. Hi. Coming back to the little girl with her dog. Hello again. Hi. How are the berries? They're a little, not quite there, but so we're going to try anyways. I think we're a little underripe. Maybe another couple of weeks? Some more heat, yeah. This, yeah. this, this warm weather will help them. Good. See you later. Yeah, the blackberries aren't quite ready yet. Hi. So I've negotiated that hill. Heading to the chip once again. Hi. It's gonna be a scorcher today. It'll probably hit 30 degrees. Celsius. That's probably about 90 Fahrenheit. My friend Ken suggested that I do this to run soft surfaces, he said. Stay on soft surfaces. And Graham, in his wisdom, suggested that I work on my cardio more on my bike until 
my tender ankle becomes a little less tender. I coming up on my water bottle. Hi. Morning. Oh, I thought it was this corner. Must be the next one. I do have my good camera with me today. Take a picture from here. Hang on a second. Okay, so now I'm running the other way on the chip trail. I out towards King's Pond. I spit a shade here. This run will be shorter than my two and a half K run around Lambrick. But that was for a reason. I I wanted to do more of a bike and a walk today. The running is just icing on the cake. Getting close to my next turn around. It's about four minutes in each direction.
so arbitrarily chose this bench as my turnaround. So I'm now heading back to my drink break. Hi. A couple of very nice looking South American girls. Probably sisters. They look so much alike. In fact, they were probably sisters because they both had their earbuds in. So they weren't really chatting to each other. They were both doing a workout together. Probably listening to different source material. All I have seen today is women, apart from the man with his daughter, women on the golf course, women running, women walking. It's good to see that they have the time away from their families and their busy lives to run. Just coming up to the finishing section of my run. Well, this trip has been delightful today. The only thing really lacking is any cardio endurance. But I shall work on that by doing some long bike rides. So that's the end of my run. Now I walk back to the bike. I still have to do some grocery shopping at Fairways. But I chose not my closest supermarket because that would have meant too short a walk too short a ride so I chose one about four kilometers away which will probably give me let me think now eight eight of cycling two of running it's ten plus two of walking well, maybe 13 kilometers today, all told. As so I head back towards Doncaster Drive, I used to visit a client in a house just along here. He was a Frenchman from France. You have to qualify for that statement in Canada, a Frenchman from France. <clears throat> he died of cancer. I looked after him until the last week when he went into hospice. His name was Regis, which I believe in French means the king. I know roi is king in French, but from the Latin, I 
think Regis is the king. Or Rex. Alright, so now I'm heading back down past the convenience store. There is a very poor family living in the store. Well, behind it actually. It's one of those family businesses that never really makes enough money to employ anybody other than family members. I'll take another picture from here because it's kind of interesting because you can see the progression of the store. They have not really made enough money to improve the rear or the front of the store. And there are two cars trashed in their backyard being engulfed by a large blackberry bush. I think there's only two vehicles here. It could be three. You will see from the photograph that one of them is almost totally buried by bushes and the other one is being engulfed as we speak. All right, so I'm going to put the camera away now. I'm going to pause this recording because I'm getting back into the noisy area. So the conclusion of my adventure today is the summary of the activities so far. The bike ride was effortless. I still have a little bit of trouble negotiating junctions because of the back pedal braking I have to choose how to stop pedaling so that I can act the brake and also so I can start when I have to go again with the pedal in the right position. I can't just freewheel it backwards until I get the pedal in the right position. Pedaling backwards just activates the brake. But I'm sure all you North Americans know all about coaster brakes and coaster bikes. Like those beach cruisers, that's what it is basically. The bike that Norman gave me on my return from Spain. I had a box waiting for me with a beautiful black bike in it, which I will use on a regular basis as my way of recovering my cardio fitness. That's basically all I'm working on now. When I do run, I'm running at the same speed as I used to run, but my endurance is about a quarter of what it used to be. That's how much you lose in aerobic fitness by not keeping at it, as they say. You have to keep at it. Plateau training is not very good for improving your speed, but it is excellent for improving your endurance. Hello. I saw that guy at the golf course. He went powering past me. Well, I think I've probably yacked enough today for everybody's benefit, mainly my own. I'm gonna say bye-bye to you now, and I will probably catch up with you again on Sunday, if not before. I know that at five minutes to midnight tonight, the uh, your five minutes number three will drop into the podosphere from my computer. Last week I got my dates mixed up. I wanted it to drop 
at midnight on Thursday, but it in fact dropped on midnight Wednesday. It's one of those AM, PM things. So this time I chose 2355 so that I knew the date was correct. So it's 2355 tomorrow the show will drop. This one I will put out as soon as I get home. I do have some music lined up for it so I will use that to its best advantage. So this is the running jackal walking back to his bike. Three quarters of the way through his day's exercise routine. Bye-bye.